just uh, brought uh, the first presentation of a play by Rhoda Redkin about this village, Eam, and what happened to it 350 years ago, which is that the play came in the form of a box of clothing and wreaked havoc in the village, nearly destroyed the whole population. And due to the efforts of the church, they effectively quarantined the village and, uh, and, and stopped it from spreading around the UK. Our very village itself and the farms and townlands of this parish, we must ring about with a boundary, strict, that outward or inward, none must cross. David has written a play about this event, but he's written it in the voice of the play. So she effectively gives us a tour of what she's done in this village. Roofs of mouldering thatch, walls of lath and plaster, floors strewn with musty straw. I burrow in their roofs, I gnaw through their walls, I breed in their straw. In their muggy warmth in winter, their houses are especially congenial to me. And their mittens. I love the poor. We were invited by Ian Church to come here and present it as part of their 350th commemoration of that event. I thought it was electrifying and I think what was particularly moving was that every person who died, their name was read out. And that made it, it made the sacrifice that they made really come to light. It was very emotive, I thought, very impressive, yeah. and I'd forgotten how many died, 260. I thought it was extremely powerful and the perfect place to hear this play in, in church where it was happening. Uh, really informative, yeah, I enjoyed it, um, and it's told as well. I, I knew nothing about Ian before today, and having seen the houses wander around the town, this helped me sort of contextualise it, picture exactly what was going on. I know the play hit all over the country, but this this area tried to cope with it and they had no idea what they were coping with, uh, and yet they succeeded. I think it's really important because I think otherwise these stories are lost, aren't they? And that's what history is all about. It makes it alive and it makes a whole new generation think about that. <laughs> I think it, it's extremely important for us. It's, it's very moving and it's our story as people who worship here at Dean Church. So it's incredibly special to have people coming in and telling our story.